So a few people have asked me questions about the relationship between vagal function and autoimmune disease uh, and if there's any evidence on that or whether this is just a theory. So I thought I'd just explain this a little bit more and I wanted to show you there's an article that was just released uh, last year on, in the Journal of Rheumatic and Musculoskeletal Diseases where they asked that exact question. There's a whole lot of other papers on it as well but I'll talk to this one in particular today. Um, what they did, they originally had 30 subjects enrolled uh, and it ended up being just over 20 that actually participated in the study. Uh, they did a whole lot of studies on them, a lot of questionnaires, and like to work out exactly where they were at with their pain levels. Uh, and most of these were suffering things like rheumatoid arthritis or SLE. Um, and what they did, they underwent four weeks of transcranial, um, sorry, transauricular um, uh, vagal stimulation. So artificial stimulation to the vagus nerve using the ear. Okay, just using the ear for four weeks just four weeks, and what they found was that the bulk of them had a massive reduction in pain, almost a third reduction in pain just by doing that. They also found a significant reduction in interleukin-6. This is a biochemical marker that is used for chronic inflammation, for systemic inflammation, which has been linked to a whole lot of conditions right across the board. So four weeks treatment, um, significant shifts in pain just by stimulating the auricular aspect of the vagus nerve uh, with um, transcutaneous stimulation. So the vagus nerve is strongly part of this whole mechanism. And this is just that one of several papers which has been shown the potential of influencing it. The key thing with this, which was very interesting though, is that whilst they stimulated it and there was an effect on autoimmune function and pain, etc., when they stopped the stimulation and actually did HRV with them, there was no change in their vagal function as a whole. So what that suggests is that whilst uh, external stimulation to the vagus nerve may provide an upregulation or an artificial source of vagal activation in the human body doesn't seem to do much for actually shifting your long-term vagal health. To do that, you've got to sort the lifestyle out. Anyway guys, if you have any questions at all with that, um, post them up below or PM me. I'm always here to help. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.